Okay, Blake. First collegiate touchdown yeah. on Saturday. That feel overdue, feel like a long time coming? I do, man. It's been, what, four years now? Uh, it's, it's fi- it finally felt good to, you know, get out there. And once the play was called, I kind of knew it was coming my way. And, you know, just executing it. And just the rest is history. So, so yeah. I mean, what are you feeling lining up there, knowing the ball is probably coming your way? <laughs> uh, I just knew we knew what kind of covers we were going to get uh, in that formation inside the red, uh, within on the three yard line. And so it was just my job to you know set up, set it up, and you know the rest was easy uh, said than done. So yeah. I think Andrell after the game said that that was something you guys had <laughs> talked about all week that you knew that that was going to be there. Do yeah. you realize like when that play was called that this is the chance? Yeah, we we knew what kind of covers like I said we were going to get and. Honestly, if it, it was really his job to set it up and you know, you know, do a little rub route and then just get to the uh, get to the corner. So it was, I really gave my credit to him for uh, opening me up on the flat. Did you get the ball? Say it again. Did you get the ball? I didn't. I don't know. Where I, I gave it to the ref. I was out of my mind. It was an out of body experience. So I don't know where, where the you, ball went. Are you usually on uh, extra point? I noticed like as yeah. you're running to the sidelines, you kind of had like the oh shit moment. Yeah, I did. I uh, I ran over and I was just so excited with my teammates yeah. and then just. All of a sudden, I just had to walk back in and go right back on the field goal. So, yeah, it was one of those things I just forgot. <laughs> yeah. So some of the offensive struggles that you guys had early in the game, yeah. obviously things kind of opened up towards the end. What do you right. think? Is that uh, just kind of working out some early season kinks, or what do you feel like the root of that was? Yeah, we just kind of just shot ourselves in the foot. We just didn't get a, get into a rhythm, um, but it just it took us a while. I, it was nothing that SMU did, but they, they did they did a lot of new stuff that we got to give them credit for. But we did a lot of stuff that we usually don't do, and you know in the film we we corrected it today, and so we're gonna correct it and move on, and then get ready for Tulsa. It was almost pretty easy to miss there, but. Dylan had four touchdown passes yeah, on Saturday. Yeah, he sure did. How about his performance so far through two games? It's remarkable. I mean, he, he comes in day in and day out and pro- proves to us what kind of talent he is and the type of you know player he is. And uh, I'm really proud of him. I mean, he's really show- showcasing why he's the best quarterback in the Big 12. Was it weird looking up at the scoreboard in the fourth quarter and, you know, seeing only 14 points on the on the board? It or? was. That's what I'm saying. It took us a whole three quarters to the, I mean, it took us all the way to the fourth quarter to, you know, finally get, you know, rolling and scored. We only had four drives in the second half, so we, we every moment counts. But, um, you know, we, we didn't want to take things lightly, and so we had to you know, do everything we can to, you know, improve and, you know, get back on track. I know you weren't here last year, so maybe you don't have a ton of backdrop for the growth one year to the next. But yeah. just what does it say about this team when the offense can have a day where they're kind of experiencing some doldrums and the defense is right there to pick them up? Yeah, that, that's that's why the defense is so strong. I mean, Coach V gets them right day in and day out, week week by week. And so we know that they're going to have our back and we're going to have their back. And so last week it was their, their time to have our back. And I think moving forward it'll be uh, the same way going forward. Did you get some good confidence though from you know SMU cuts it down to three and you right. guys go right down the field and respond. I yeah. can imagine that that makes everybody feel pretty good. Yeah it's a huge confidence booster for us to respond the way we did. I mean we had a slow start and it's really about how you it's not how you start it's how you finish and we definitely showed that we, we can we're able to finish and we're gonna show that the rest of the season. Is that some motivation going into this next week uh, you know to, to play even better? Yeah I mean that's that's everybody's you know you know, mindset is to play better. You know, there's always improvement. Um, there's not, there's always, you know, little, little, you know, critiques here and there. But you know, it's what you do throughout the week that you know prepares you for Saturday. How's the tight end group doing in the run game, just blocking wise? I think we're doing good. I mean, we, me uh, and Stog, you know, had we had a few mess ups, um, just a little technical stuff that we need to fix on, and you know, physicality wise. But I think for the most part, we're doing we're doing pretty well. I think so. Nice to see Stog get on the on the board. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. It was good. I mean, he's been doing this for a long time now, so um, he's had a lot. He's have he has a lot of receptions under his belt. So I think moving forward, we'll, he'll get him a lot, lot more touches. How much of an opportunity, a window, you feel like there is for you guys in the tight end room to shine this week against that Tulsa defense? I think it's what we do throughout the week. I mean, giving Coach Levy confidence in us, um, showcasing what our talents and our abilities, and just really proving on Saturday and really, you know, having our, you know, having the brother next to you, you know, play for them and. Um, just moving forward with that. What do you know about the Tulsa defense so far? What have, you know? What have you seen from them? Um, I think that's pretty. Uh, not really for us, for me to discuss right now. But I mean, it's going to be a hard, hard fought game. I think every week, every team we play is going to be hard fought. And I feel like if we do our job, we'll be in good shape. Two weeks of live game action. How's your relationship with Dylan Gabriel grown? Oh, it's grown tremendously. I mean, it all started in the spring, but um, you know, it. it grew every uh, over time and I feel like just the confidence that uh, we're both connecting on through the passing game is going to keep continuing to grow. Obviously 
not real far, but how excited are you to see kind of this team get out on the road for the first time, get away from the home stadium, things like that? Dog mentality, that's that's our mindset right now, and it's all about our mindset going forward because we know it's going to be a hostile environment. Um, so we got to use that energy and that fuel um, within the locker room and you know, bring it out and showcase it on Saturday. So it'll be a good one. Appreciate it, Blake. Yes, sir.